There's a new place for adults with developmental disabilities to socialize and build their knowledge and confidence. Staff and participants were joined by local officials today to cut the ribbon for On the Pond at Cutler. The 11,000 square foot space was renovated within the Chief's headquarters on Cutler Pond Road in the town of Dickinson. It's divided into classrooms, conference rooms, and offices, including those for the organization's supported employment program. The social daycare setting was created as one place to go for the many achieved clients who used to work at Country Valley Industries on Lester Avenue in Johnson City. CVI was the agency's vocational arm. It closed in September as part of a federal and state effort to transition the developmentally disabled from institutional settings into the community. Former worker Noreen Marine says she misses CVI but enjoys On the Pond. And I really do love this program and I'm, I'm going to miss Lester Avenue, but, you know, I have to move on with my life. I have to change my attitude and stuff, but I really do love it here. And I do like the staff, and I got along with the staff, too. CEO Amy Howard says Achieve currently has 50 clients in their supportive employment program that are actively seeking work. She's working to convince the business community that they can be an asset to their operation. I think that we as an agency and we as a community could do a lot more to engage the business sector in a dialogue around the terrific and amazing reasons why one would want to consider employing a person with different abilities or developmental uh, disabilities. On the Pond at Color offers a variety of activities including arts and crafts, cooking, yoga, yoga, karaoke, field trips and volunteer opportunities. Of the $1.2 million cost, $500,000 came from the State Office for People with Developmental Disabilities, $110,000 from the Empire State Development, $150,000 from the State Senate, secured by Senator Fred Akshar, and $300,000 from Achieves Foundation. The program has been up and running since the beginning of October.